Hey guys, Megan 867 here. I'm the co-author of Mystery Science Theater 6.7 and Mystery Science Cinema 3001. Uh, this is my second Let's Play, and in honor of Halloween, I decided to pick another short AGS game, the aptly yet inaccurately titled Witch Night. The girl in the lower right there is our protagonist, a psychopunk lesbian named Ilona. And the only reason I know that is because it's specifically mentioned in the game designer notes. Her name is never actually spoken within the game itself. Go figure. My sister, Kizzy Caspi, will be providing the voice for Ilona at various points in the game, along with a few other voices. Anyway, continuing from the game designer's notes, Ilona here has decided to crash a Halloween party, and everything in her way will pay the ultimate price. So with that cryptic exposition out of the way, sit back and enjoy the tale of Witch Knight. She's pretty snobby for someone who lives in a bunch of cardboard boxes. And she's a lousy evangelist, but at least her message is clear. Whoa, I just had a flashback of Claire Brewster from Beetlejuice. Yeah, a little more snake oil and she'll be ready to fleece the masses. Please, not in front of Frankie. I mean, I mean, Andrew. But making death threats on someone's front lawn is a bastion of sanity. <laughs> is it just me or does the talk I kind of look like someone throwing up their last shot of Jägermeister? Now at this point you've probably noticed the complete lack of music or sound effects in this game. This might be because Witch Knight has a feature that lets you play any music CD you put in your drive during gameplay and pressing F1. Again, I only found this out by reading the designer's notes, but to be fair, it is a cool little feature to have, if a bit lazy. So I guess it's up to me to provide a soundtrack for this Let's Play. But what music can I use that hopefully won't be flagged by YouTube? Hmm, uh, let's try this. That's the moon? Looks like a bacterial colony to me. Natalie Fuxlays was one of several possible band names before they finally decided on Goo Goo Dolls. No, it's Andrew. Or maybe Penis is his last name. Andrew Penis, descended from a long line of dicks. I'll take a foot long and hold the mayo. Fuck of Whore, the new fragrance for her from Calvin Klein. No bitches allowed. Not only is Natalie's house made of cardboard, she couldn't even be bothered to finish drawing in the bricks. Or maybe that's just an alternate way into the house. Nope. And yet somehow it still emotes better than you. <laughs> I knew something was holding the moon up there. Points. Score. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to be Natalie's balcony, but she refused to put any weight on it. No, I really don't. Especially if what's under there resembles the house to the left. Ugh. I suck chrome, thank you very much. Wait, that's a car? I thought it was a street sweeper. As can the game designer, as we'll find out later. Can I rip off the antenna? Oh yeah, that's cool. Thanks!
We can make it worse. We have the technology. Hmm. Maybe I can use this as a makeshift grappling hook to climb up the tree and then jump over here to the balcony. Or not. Science! Sure, she just killed someone, but she's no Natalie Portman. Oh, she's giving the game its last rites. Oh, penis, my penis, your role in this game is done. I can see it's a door, dummy. Now tell me the type of wood grain and how it smells. Details, girl, details. When I think about Ilona, I want to touch anything else. I'm gonna destroy Natalie's toilet. That'll show her. Yeah, this game is only slightly less painful to watch. Then she wished world peace for the other one. Weird girl. So the murderous goth punk is scared of being spotted by the valley girl princess? I'm shy. She is Ilona, mistress of the doll. She has a fish fetish? Hi, I'm Alona McClure. You may remember me from such films as Stab Her Softly and The Goths Must Be Horny Too. Come with me, Sushi. Killing Andrew, sure, but what did the algae ever do to you? Whoa, whoa, too much information. Maybe if you slid the fish under the door and said, Room service! Oh, they have a picture of Jughead Jones on the dresser. Interesting. So, every woman in this game is a slut? Okay, good to know. So you broke into her house to steal her dildos? Really? Really? Yeah, what kind of asshole values their privacy in the privacy of their own home? As would my fragile heart. Finally, some direction in this game. Ooh, nice seahorsey trim there. Duh, words hard. Not now. Sorry, not now, aka you're jumping ahead in the script and that's entirely your fault. Stop it!
But Golden Girls? Hell yeah, I'd hit Blanche any day. But she's daddy Alona. I know. Really? I'm fluent in GE, Kenmore, Maytag. Of course, my Whirlpool sucks. From the bathtub? Are you a beer baroness as well? Thank Richard, that's all that's floating in the water. You wouldn't believe the itches I'd get on my back. Hey, she said she looked sleazy before. Continuity. Jeez, if you're that horny, just turn on the washer and wait for the spin cycle to start. Just get it out of your system already. Hey man, this isn't a police sink. That chrome has rights, you know. As in, stable condition in the hospital with a toilet wand too far up your hoo-ha? What, crabs? Yeah, when your private starts smelling like Jiffy Pop, it's time to see your gynecologist. And you just alerted the entire house to your presence. Brilliant! Uh, in your toilet? Makes you think what she really meant by that. Or what she meant, period. Sushi, no! <laughs> As one normally does in adventure games. there, her moans are lip synced too. Wait, I thought she wanted to fuck. Oh, the finger. I get it now. This is what I call projecting. Not to be confused with her European cousin, the street walking sailing skank. Her breasts immediately dropped and gave her 20. Well, let's recap the game so far. Ilona murdered a kid in the fish, broke into someone's house and bedroom, and stole their toilet brush, bra, and a used tampon. <sighs> it's moments like this that make me glad I play adventure games. Uh, could you stop molesting yourself for five seconds and get the fuck out of the way so I can check the closet? Jeez. And I just noticed Ilona is taller than the closet. That's... that's great. Gays are so gay. Lesbianism is where it's at. You got two turntables and no microphone. But I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly. Wait, I thought Ken was her... Oh, right. Ugh. 
Life in plastic? It's fantastic! I think you mean golden. I have a knife. Blowing a guy? Sure. But putting on makeup? No way. Never. So, are we watching a really cynical episode of Law & Order SVU? Where's Munch when you need him? Seriously though, how does Ilona know all this? What, does she have hidden cameras set up everywhere in Natalie's house? Or is she just going by nasty school gossip given to her by the local fat kid in exchange for her lunch? Yeah, Natalie likes to eat marshmallows in bed, so? New push-up bras, now with push-up nipples. You know, trying to put a push-up bra on a Barbie doll has to be the most useless exercise in existence. It's like giving falsies to Christina Hendricks. The tread is now these brought me to vulcanized rubber. This house had a problem with Buddhist monks in the basement, but fortunately, they self-immolate. Hell, you already stole this puzzle from Monkey Island too. Might as well rip off the whole thing while you're at it. Is it safe to assume this chick has more issues than can be explained in a 3 megabyte game? Grrr. I'm Freddy! Grrr. I'm gonna stuff you in an animatronic suit! Grr. I'm a Care Bear on the edge. Grr. Knock it off. Oops, quick power interruption there, and we're back. Oh, goody. AKA Flu Season Barbie. Oh, of course. Why would I want to throw out a bloody tampon when it still has so many uses?
So making someone puke is more painful than stabbing them? Okay. I've heard of washing machines eating socks, but Barbie dolls? <laughs> Wow, the sexual tension between the astronaut and bunny girl is palpable. She is so into him. I'm Batrim. So remember folks, any picture that wasn't done by Bob Ross is just some picture and deserves nothing less than the finger. But that'll just be our little secret. Any relation to Bud the Spud? Or the late Andrew Penis perhaps? Hell are head ones. She probably ran upstairs to the bathroom to clean off the puke. Oh, no, wait, you were just there. Uh, well, maybe she went up to her room and... No, she didn't pass you on the stairs, either. Yeah, where is that alleged tramp, anyway? Are they refugees from a Ren and Stimpy cartoon? What are you, five now? She's gonna pull their hair and break their crayons, the big dumb poopy head. Man, Captain Obvious has nothing on this chick. She must have bit it earlier and drank its blood. Hey, that's my assumption, I'm sticking to it. Well, I see someone's already had her limit on punch. Maybe you should mind your own Beeswax! Oop. Wait, what is this gathering about again? Oh, right! Thanks, game. Sorry, the programmers didn't offer that command. Seriously, did Tor Johnson write this dialogue? Duh! Punch bowl! Black cat! Some pitcher! I've got the toilet brush! Time for go to bed! This entire game is a punchline. Oh, she's a straight edge. <laughs> Just don't ask where she put the tattoo. Hey Sleazy, mind moving your ass to the side for a minute? And Nick the Prick just watches you poison the punch bowl, not giving even the slightest scintilla of a shit. Yeah, she's right. Well, back to the poisoning we go. Hmm. Well, to be fair, the algae killer, bloody tampon, and fishbone can only improve the flavor of a bowl of warm Clamato. Gucci Punch is the Raz? Is that slang from 2003, or is she just speaking in tongues at this point? Ten minutes later. Wow, that is a lot of puke for three people. Somehow I don't think Witch's Epicac is going to become a Halloween staple. And you killed whatever that kid's name was. Like Frank something? Yeah, Frank. You killed Frank. With Natalie's luck, she'll get Officer Mahoney. I'm amazed the police took her alive. Saying goodbye, going away, all of those assholes are going to pay. And now, enjoy the only real puzzle in the game.
one puzzle. Just one puzzle and I have to hit the 1998 equivalent of the hint button because this puzzle is so tedious and the plot is so awesome, I just have to get back to it right now! The game, however, reached that point ages ago. Holy crap! I've turned into a thin Roseanne bar! Hey, music! <laughs> well, let this be a lesson, folks. Always poke your hot dogs with a fork before putting them in the microwave. It could save your life. Which night? Even the title says, meh. Quality assurance by I can't believe I eat, I can't believe it's not butter. And JetXL. Wow. Well, at least it wasn't a sliding block puzzle for once. I'll give this game that. And now that this game is over, here's the walkthrough for this game. Wait, what? Hey, don't, don't tell me what I should or should not be, game. Ugh. Well, it's been 11 years, so I wouldn't hold my breath for a sequel. A remake, maybe. Please! I wanna live! And as we gaze at this explosion of pizza, or hot dogs, or wacky inflatable tube man shrapnel, or whatever piece of alternate reality we choose it to be, we bid a fond farewell to Elona and... Well, Elona. Oh yeah, and whatever the hell that thing was that grabbed her at the end. I think it was White Fang's brother, Brown Fang. Happy Halloween, everybody! Ah! Ah! Ah!